Hello everybody, welcome to a new quick repair to see. I have my own MacBook which is getting very hot and I would like to replace the cooling paste. It's a 2019 version, I think. And the model is A2159, so Got the touch bar. Good, nice. Let's open that up and see if we can do that without any special tools. Or do we need a special cooling paste? I don't know. So I'm going to push this a little bit against. And I'm going to sneak in here from the side and here. And then I can. Sliding like that. It makes click. Just move around the edges. Here we get another click. Yes, good. Now we should be able to lift this up here at the front. Another click. And then we should be able to push this away from us. And that's it. Good. Quite clean. Let's disconnect the camera. Ah, the battery. <clears throat> Let me show you that in detail. Don't need a face for that. <coughs> That's a camera connect. Uh, camera. Why do I always say camera? That's the battery connector. Open the lid. Push it out. That's it. This one is ground, but you don't have to necessarily disconnect that. It's okay if you just remove the flex. But I need to replace my screwdriver. That's too big. And that's too small. Interesting. Looks like the Same for the housing. T? No. Not a Torx, is that Pentalope? Called Pentalope? No, also not. Big to small, I don't know. Let's have a look. No, it's not a Pentalope. This one is too big. No, it's not too big. Good fit. Just gotta put some pressure on. And it works. That's really a nasty screw. I hate it. That's a screw which you easy, easily can rip off or screw up. Good. Now we have another screw here, which is the something like this. Yes, it is. No, it's too big. A smaller one up here. It's also not working. Good. I'm going to take this one. 
that fits, which is an H3. Let's just first start with all the flexes. There are millions. That's that for sure. I can tell you. One, two, this is Thunderbolt, mm. yeah, let's make it easy, let's make that easy. Again, these nasty screws. Very thin and fragile. Doesn't feel like you're really getting a grip. And this one is already cactus. I love it. How can that even happen? There is absolutely no grip here. Try to use some heat. <clears throat> Good. A little bit of heat up and pressure works. Awesome. Thank you, Apple, for making rubbish screws that everyone can easily break, even if you're experienced with those screws. Good. Another one. Good. Ten. I recommend using plastic if possible. T five. Back to T5. Good. What else do we got? Looks like we're pretty much done with the flex cables. One is left. Careful. Wiggling. Good. And we have another one underneath. Wiggling, careful, good. So it seems like all flexes now here. This one is coming from the screen. 
screen. Go back to tree four, but I think that it's a T three. Yes, it is. T three. piece of metal What's that that's a connection to a connection good we also take the other shield out Good. Back to T five. Unscrewing the board with one. Very hard screwed in. One. Two. Or oops, yeah, <laughs> avoided that warranty, I think. Okay, now we should be able to get the board out. Let's try to lift it up. Words here we have this stupid, silly antenna cables, not a big deal. Me. Lift it up from this side. Plastic tool. Lift it up gently. And we have our board. Here we have our magic or screws which need to come out. Very nice. So we can put the chassis to the side. Camera doesn't want to focus. They're jumping up, be careful, forget about that. Nothing new, it was just always on the cooler side. Two. Good. Now we can turn back around and look how easy that comes off. Look at this minimal liquid. Don't tell me that this is enough. That isn't enough. That's much too less. I didn't know that Apple doesn't have the money anymore for Keeping stuff cool. So let's have a detailed look here. Here is nothing. That's kind of stuff. It's liquid. It's okay, but not perfect. And here we have really nothing that here. Here it was a little bit wet. Actually there's a lot of spots where there is not being anything cooled so nice. Isn't that nice? I think it is good. Now we're gonna take a no, first we're gonna clean the stuff from the old garbage with cotton butts.
If you see that wet spot, it looks almost like the cooling paste separated itself into two parts. And after that, they start to dry out. So that's the first step. Well, it depends on the cooling paste, but I saw this in the last years more often, that strange liquid. So in the rubbish. So my bed in. I think the MX6 is a bit softer or more liquid. Yeah, what's the difference really? I don't know. We'll see. So we are going to heat this boat up and see what it does. Microscope. Can zoom out more. <coughs> Let's turn that around. Yes. So I'll just turn that around. Mix four, mix five, six. It's a little bit more liquid. Good. See that boat? Make it sharp. Good, we're in focus. I'm going to start right off at 200 degrees. Oh, it's alive pretty much, I think. Looks good. MX4. MX6 dried a little bit out. So the liquid went all to the button. button. So my guess is for normal machines, um, MX6, I think, which are running not too hot, let's say. Standard machine, uh, full power, 80 degrees. I think it's 
good to use DMX4 and if you have like MacBooks who really tend to get very hot I think it's better to use MX6 uh, MX4 sorry MX4 is a little bit more dry and it doesn't have so much liquid in it and that's what we wanted to take good I'm glad we tested that let's put that aside it's hot it's still hot good mx4 is our macbook friend so back to the machine <coughs> not a wipe good also here good Let's place the past. A little bit here. A little bit there. Come on. A little bit here. I do not know how flush this is. That's why I took a little bit more. Hmm. Let's take a little much more in the middle, a little spot. Okay, that's good. That should be really enough. Let's bring that back in position. I think we make that like this. Put our holes here and here. Good. Screws. I'm not screwing them tight yet. I'm going to make that afterwards. should be all the same for the look of it so let's push that down careful also not screwing tight yet click we have some clicks good and here I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit tight tight I was trying to go to the opposite side tight tighter Tighter, tighter, tighter. Good, that's it. A lot of other tiny, be careful not to forget. We'll have a look before we start screwing or connecting stuff back. That looks, I think, good. We have a connector here, 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 here we have those two. One, two battery these two here i think that looks good before i start to screw i put all connectors back so i'm sure i haven't done anything wrong so to start Go one by one if we want. Yeah, let's do that on the microscope so we all have a good view. If we mess anything up, 
Everybody can see that. Make it sharp. Good. So I just got my tweezer and my plastic tool. Tweezer, I'm taking the lip of that plastic protection adhesive stuff. So now we gotta bend this over. Let's try to bend us over our plastic tool, push it back, and we're in. Almost. Now we're gonna push this further. Make sure it is straight. Close the lid. I like to use my fingers for closing. Very easy. Oh, we have some schmutz. Oof. Interesting cable design. And guess what? One connector is missing. Good. I think it's underneath. But not a big deal. We can lift it up still. Should be able with tiny tweezers to get that out. So. I can see it already hiding. Here it is. Come on. Can we get that out? We try to pull here. Tweezers aren't good for pulling. I'm going to take my fingers. Good. Without any hassle, without bending anything too much, it's all good. I'm not sure you're getting it out. Just disconnect all. We haven't put any screws in, so not a big deal. So, connector. That's really not fun here. See if we can connect that. Pushing it down. Keep the lid open, push it in, be sure you're straight, yes we are, you can see here that we have a gap which we can move, see that, now we know we're at the right spot.
Oh, that's... Yeah, don't use water. If you clean anything when battery is connected, be sure to use ISO. I just want to get rid of my fingerprints. Other stuff. Want to tell the next one who's going to be in here that we've done a clean job. Just a suggestion. It's all good. Okay, a little bit of a blowing. Hold the fan when you do that. The fan is very clean, so there's nothing to do here. Good, that's it. Now we can put the back plate on. Sure, it's dust free, kind of. And take a brush and just brush it away. Good. Uh, another thing, when you close the machine back again, you have this screw and this screw here, which has this holder. So make sure they are straight and not maybe in some other or maybe they're bended. Make sure they're straight in the way. Okay. Let me zoom out. So oh, I'm going here. Uh, three, four millimeters space. Let it down. Oof, push it back. And you're good. Are we? I don't know. I think we are. Then we're gonna push here. Click, click two times. One in the middle. And we have three clicks. We can be sure that everything is nice and flat. So now we get to the last screws. We, we get back to our Torx. Uh, pentalope, sorry. So we have two sh short screws here. Two little bit longer ones. And two very long ones. The two longest ones, I think I put them in the back. Not sure about that. It looks very deep. Then, the not so long ones are mostly here in the center. Let's try that. If you look inside the screw hole, you can see a little bit of a distance, so... Easy. Then, the middle size screws the front left and the front right. So I hope that's it. So um, ignore that writing down here. That is wrong. Um, I think for some of you this may be helpful. Be helpful. Uh, I know it's a little bit scary if you open a MacBook, it's very expensive, a lot of stuff here. But take your time and take to have the right tools, have the right screwdrivers, some plastic crying tools, and maybe one or two. Um, what are they called? Tweezers. And you should be good. Take your time. Maybe get yourself a, a little um, a mag magnification if you're not sure you see anything or you can also use your camera 
and, and zoom in and to have a better view. It's up to you. Yeah, that's it. Um, model 2020. Um, replacing the cooling. I think that was long enough. Macbooks are strange. Then I'm sure the machine will come on after a couple of hours. And it is, yeah, normal behavior. Don't get scared. I don't know why this is. Uh, it may be that uh, like other laptops, there are some reboots quietly made. But you don't see anything on the outside, so 